In New Jersey, the government has shut down. Governor Christie and the legislature are set to return to work this morning to try to hammer out a budget. In the meantime, Christie has ordered state beaches and parks and even the Motor Vehicle Commission to close, putting holiday weekend plans on hold for many across the state. CBS News' Jessica Layton has more from Seaside Park. For Christian Gonzalez and his nine-year-old twins, there are plenty of reasons to drive the hour and a half to Island Beach State Park a few times a month. From the family atmosphere, the fact that it's a state park, um, away from the, away from the boardwalk. They were planning to spend the Fourth of July here too, but that holiday family fun, at least on this sand, is being threatened by what many call politics at its worst. Politicians, yeah, I wish they did get their act together. It's really a sad state of affairs. You want me to wave a magic wand and get a budget? I can't get a budget to my desk. Governor Chris Christie and Democratic Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto were at odds over the overhauling of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, the Garden State's largest health insurer. Prieto calls the proposed bill on Horizon a tax. That is cement in the sand for me. It will be after we pass a budget that we will look at a bill like that that could potentially affect 3.8 million residents of the state of New Jersey. As the budget battle goes nowhere, operations at the DMV, state lottery, and state parks hang in the balance. Visitors learning this beach may close just in time for July 4th celebrations are fed up over the feud. I think that's ridiculous. The timing is just terrible. The Gonzalez twins may not know much about politics, but they had this plea for the powers that be. Don't close it. That's wrong, say. Don't close no. it. We want to point out NJ Transit operations would not be affected by a government shutdown, but Governor Chris Christie has said public workers should not expect any back pay. Reporting from Island Beach State Park, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.